Okay, this recording is about Matt Stone, um, the person behind 180 Degree Health. And my main message is that I'm advising people not to listen to him. He's wrong. His theories don't make any sense. That's basically, you know, I'm not trying to attack the guy. I'm not trying to be an asshole. But essentially, that's the, the idea that I just want to uh, circulate a little bit. Um, you know, I've, I've studied the people who've followed his path, his protocol, whatever you want to call it. And what usually ends up happening is they just get fat. You know, it's not, they just put on weight, the, just a uh, very ordinary way. There's nothing groundbreaking about this. There's nothing revolutionary. There's nothing scientific. It's just getting fat. You can get fat any other way. It's the same thing. It's just putting on weight. You know, I, I don't want to say necessarily get fat because it depends on your starting weight, but that's all, that's all it is. You know, all these various details he's bringing up, you know, about, the omega-6 fats and your uh, how much water you should consume, fluid you should consume, and salt and whatever. It's just, there, there's nothing there, you know. And the thing is, for certain people, at certain periods in their life, putting on some kind of weight will have some kind of benefit, you know. It'll have some kind of benefit. That's the way it is. So, a lot, but a lot of things have some kind of benefit. That doesn't mean they're good options, you know. Same thing with this. Yes, it has some kind of benefit. It's not a good option. It doesn't make sense. You know, if you're on an extremist diet, if you've been on an extremist diet for a long time and you think that you should, that uh, you should try to balance yourself out somehow or another, fine. But don't don't use Matt Stone's way. Use something else. You know, just go with I guess common sense or something like that because this is not a good idea. And if you just again, if you just sit and, and read the posts, people even people posting in his own forum, you know, comments on his own uh, articles or whatever, you can see that. A lot of them are just basically saying, I put on a lot of weight. I'm very overweight. And some of them are also saying, I'm winded, I'm fat, and my health issues haven't even been resolved for the most part. So this is it has this um, diet has a very, if you want to call it a diet, has a very poor track record. Just the word, at least other diets. I'm not saying they're good, but their track record is better than this one. That's for sure. That's something I definitely noticed. You know, whether you're talking about paleo or low carb or whatever, which I'm against all those things. But ultimately, they have a better track record than Matt Stone's way. You know, and if you go to the forum, you know, you'll, there's, there's a lot of people or there's some kind of um, element of conformity involved. And people are trying to suggest that it's so great that, you know, he knows what he's talking about. He doesn't. He's wrong. You know, and I should also point out, I just want to be open here. So for the purposes of, of full disclosure, I want to point out that I did have once some sort of interaction with Matt Stone on the Internet. And he came off as just really unpleasant and immature and narrow minded and crazy, really just crazy. So I don't know. Maybe that's uh, swaying my view of this whole thing, but it's not really that. It's just what I've experienced personally. I tried out some of the stuff he said and what I've, what I've observed from others. This does not make sense at all. And, you know, we're talking about your diet right now. Do you really want to take advice like this? It's just ludicrous, I guess would be a good way of putting it. It's ludicrous, you know. It just goes against basically all common sense. You know, I don't see how anyone could think this is revolutionary, this is the answer or whatever. And I mean, I can see how they might think that, but it, it clearly is not the answer. It's not revolutionary. And the theories he's throwing to the mix, you know, they're just, what are they? You know, there's nothing valid about them. When this guy starts talking about body temperature and urine composition and whatever, there's really nothing there. You know, and plus some people, they actually, they listen to him. They eat a lot of calories. They do the... They, they do everything he asks them to do, and their their body temperature doesn't go up. I'm not saying your body temperature going up is necessarily great anyways, but they don't even get that out of it, and they listen to him. And then he says, well, just, you know, stick with it. That's like the common advice in that circle. It's just, uh, well, you know, you've done it for three weeks, try for six try for six months. You've done it for six months, try for two years. Done it for two years, try for five years. You know, what what is that? That doesn't make sense, you know. So if you want to read the book, you want to pay for the book and read it, fine. But at least, you know... Take what I'm saying into account. That's just basically my main message here. You know, if you want to listen to some of those people who are promoting the whole thing, okay. You know, but you just consider this other side that I'm presenting.